there's one time that I remember, um, first thing that immediately popped into my head with the question of, of dark times was, I remember he was supposed to pick me up, I was probably nine or 10 years old. He was supposed to pick me up at a baseball game. And uh, this was before cell phones, kids had cell phones. And so I was sitting on the bleachers and we were the last baseball game of the day. And um, it was at night and I was sitting on the bleachers and I was waiting for him to come pick me up. And I, if, if you know, like the, the lights that they have at night, they're on timers. And so it just clicked off. And so it was like, it was like a movie where like, it, it should have been a movie scene, right? I'm sitting there, I'm nine years old, the lights click off and out of nowhere, it just started raining like a movie scene would be. And uh, he never came and just never showed up in the first place. And so the only way that I got home was, I didn't have money for a payphone. There was a payphone, but I didn't have money for it. Um, was that one of my teammates' parents were driving by and they saw me sitting there by myself and we went to their house, called my mom. My mom thought that I was already picked up so she came and got me. Um, and so for, and my mom did like an amazing job. It, like the only reason why I'm not crazy is because of her. Uh, because I should have with a lot of the dark things that, that happened, I should have, in my childhood it wasn't terrible. Um, I think because of her, she was able to, to keep me sane. But I also think that uh, those are the times that made me, the, those, those things that I went through made me the strongest, I think. I think that the dark times made me stronger, but I also think that it's not really necessarily what happens to you, it's also the way you perceive it. And I think that as a child, I probably perceived a lot of it as actually even worse than it really was, um, because I was so in my head. And when I was younger, I think I was probably much more negative. Um, by the way I viewed stuff and I remember actual thoughts in my head of like I just wish she would die because it would make my life easier um, and then when he did pass away I was like oh my gosh that's not what I wanted that's that's this is way more permanent than I was expecting as a, as a kid you know and so um, I think that that going through those made me stronger I had a conversation with my cousin and we were talking about dark times and in having to go through those types of things and I think that every person is given certain levels of trauma or challenges, the way I like, like to look at it, in order to, I think it's the universe testing us to see if we're able to work through it. And so if, if my belief is that we're in this consciousness in order to make ourselves a little bit better than when we first came onto it, onto the planet. And so these challenges are put here in order to make us more enlightened. Um, but some people look at them as challenges and those challenges hold them back forever. Some people look at those challenges and say, I'm going to use this as a stepping stone to make myself better. So I don't, I don't look at my childhood and the things that I went through and the things that were darker as a bad thing. I actually think of them as a good thing. Uh, what I always tell people is the worst day of my life was also the best day of my life. <laughs>